starting with problem 5b, we're going to find the derivative of by y prime, where y is in the form of the natural log of 17x squared plus 24x, all divided by 8x to the fourth. And you said you used uh, the quotient rule to begin with, mm -hmm. right? Okay, for this one, um, yeah, the quotient rule is the direct way to handle this problem. So we, I, I'll go with the way that you, you got the problem started, okay? So if we use the quotient rule, the top is high, the bottom is low. The quotient rule said y prime equals low d high minus high d low, draw the line, low square. And what we have, I'm gonna put the notes, the side note here, as we know that the high one is the expression natural log of 17 x squared plus 24 x, where the low expression is x, uh, 8 x to the fourth. The low derivative is not too bad to handle that. So it's eight times four, that's 30 two times x to the third power. Okay, so that one is just the use of the power rule. And for the high, how did you find the derivative of the log of the 17 x squared plus 24 x? One over uh, something. Oh, oh, you use the chain rule, correct? So this mm -hmm. is the natural log of the quantity u where u is 17 x squared plus 24 x. So it's one over u multiplied by the derivative with respect to x of the u, which means it's one over the whole quantity, 17 x to the second plus 24 x multiplied by the derivative of the u, which is the u prime. U prime is 17 times two, that 34 times x plus 24. So 34x plus 24. Okay, that's what we have. And then we're gonna bring it into the, uh, the formula from the use of the quotient rule. So the low, the expression for the lower part is 8x to the fourth. The derivative of the high put them in one fraction okay so i'm gonna make it as the quantity 34x plus 24 all divided by 17x to the second plus 24x so this is the d high minus the high which is the net natural log of 17x squared plus 24x i'm gonna make some room here So 17 x squared plus 24 x, and then multiply by the derivative of the lower, which is 32 x squared, uh, x to the third. Uh, we'll squeeze it in here. And all, don't forget all divided by the quantity of the bottom squared, which is eight x to the fourth or to the second. It looks messy, right? And yeah. we can, we can manage this by when you divide means multiply by the reciprocal. That's one way to handle that. So I'm gonna write this one as the division, right? This is a divide, divide by the bottom quantity is the same as you multiply by the reciprocal of it. So I'm gonna treat it as one over and at actually at the same time, the eight x to the fourth squared mean eight squared times x to the power eight that is 64 times x to the eight to the power eight. So this is the expression. I'm gonna take it outside of the whole quantity of the numerator. Just a way to ma to manage the expression. And for the numerator part, so I can rewrite it as eight times x to the fourth multiplied by the quantity of the numerator divided by the quantity of the denominator and then subtracted by, I'm gonna write this expression in the front of the log term, just for our convenience to manage the terms. This quantity multiplied by the natural log of 17 x to the second 
plus 24 times x. So, so we just rearrange it into the way that we can manage. Actually, this is um, it's too far away. So I'm gonna rewrite it, make it closer. So minus psi quantity 32 x to the third times the natural log of 17 x to the second plus 24 times x, close it. So this is the y prime in the form that not simplified yet. And how do we simplify to get to the same look as the one that we have um, on the answer key on the last page of the document? So now we're going to look at the common factor. For this problem, as you see the common factor, we have the number 8 here and number 32. 32 means the value 8 multiplied by 4, right? And also the power of the x. This is x to the third and x to the fourth. X to the fourth means x to the third times x to the first power. So we're going to factor out the common factor. Which one would be the common factor for this problem, for this expression? Going to be the value 8, value 8, the lowest power, the lowest power. Okay, that's why I'm going to take it out. So I put it as the equal sign. So this is the denominator 64 x to the power 8. And I pull out the common factor that I circle in green, which is the value 8 and the x to the third power. Okay. And next, I, I'm going to rewrite whatever the leftover term. So first one, the leftover going to be x multiplied by 34 times x plus 24. All divided by 17 x squared plus 24 x. And then the next one, I have eight and x to the third out of my way. So I will have minus psi four times the natural log of 17 x to the second plus 24 x. And then I will simplify the numerator and denominator of the first term here. The eight go to 64, eight times, eight to the third and eight to the power eight, x to the power third and x to the power eight becomes x to the power fifth on the bottom. Okay, so now what we have, I'm gonna put it in the empty space here as in one page. So my y prime, the numerator, the, the first portion in the front, the numerator becomes one because it's already reduced, be one over eight times x to the fifth. And then the second part here, as you see 17 x to the second plus 24 x on the denominator, you can see this as the common factor x, common factor x. I'm gonna take the x out as a common factor. So x times 17 times x plus 24. So I can reduce x and x, the top and bottom. That means the, um, the top part here becomes 34 x plus 24 and all divided by the bottom is reduced to be 17 x plus 24. Okay, and the second term, nothing to do, we just copy it as negative four times the natural log of 17 x squared plus 24 x. I'm gonna make sure I cover everything here. So 24 x. 